is a marble roller coaster. And as you see, I have some really fun little foam tubes. These are actually in the electrical section of stores like Lowe's and Home Depot. There's different sizes, and so you can get a variety of different sizes, or your classic foam pool noodle. And you'll notice that some of these are cut in half. So prior to your program, you're going to take a serrated knife, like a steak knife, to cut these in half. This will be for our marble roller coaster. Here you can also see some other electrical supplies. These are tubings, different sizes, different shapes. And you can see in the supply list that there are examples of the different couplings and T PVC intersections. You can also use cardboard tubes from paper towel rolls, different sections of those, different sizes. You're going to need a cup, you can use a plastic cup, a paper cup, anything like that. Another great part about this program is we're going to be learning about designing and engineering as it has to do with amusement parks. So here I have three different types of marbles. I have the glass marbles, different sizes of glass marbles, wooden marbles, and these are just your rubber band or rubber bouncy balls and you can get different sizes of those because when we are making and the kids are designing their roller coasters they're going to want to try out different sizes different shapes of these marbles another thing that we will use to design our mar our marble roller coaster are velcro strips because we can use these Velcro strips to help connect our marble roller coaster. Another thing we will need is tape because we will use our tape to connect our roller coaster and also put it against the wall. You'll see that I have electrical blue tape or you can use painter's tape. The reason being is that this type of tape, the painter's tape, will not tear on your wall because the last thing we want to do is leave marks on the painted walls in the classroom. The other thing is that the tape will uh, come off really easily from this foam. It won't take off a lot of section. So don't use duct tape, don't use masking tape. Invest a little bit and get this blue electrical tape. It'll make it's so much easier for your kids, your students, and your teacher will be much happier if you use this electrical tape. So these are the, the different products that you can use. You can become a little bit more experimental and get some other fun, fun things, but these are your basic tools to design your marble roller coaster. So the students will work in groups to build their marble roller coaster because it works a lot better if they have various people working together so they can tape on the, the foam insulation, they can hold it up into different angles, you, they can maybe use the chairs in the classroom to create higher elevations because what you're going to be talking about is energy. You're going to be talking about potential energy and kinetic energy. Those are the two most important parts of energy that make our marble roller coasters work because as in a roller coaster as that car goes up the hill it's building that potential energy once it hits the top and goes down the roller coaster it turns into kinetic energy so it's just this constant flow of potential energy turning into kinetic energy so here I've taken this foam to and only sliced off the bottom portion because I, I like the idea of it going through a chute before it goes through the marble roller coaster. So let's see. And that flows really quickly. You can see that that kinetic energy has built up so much. So once you have the foam insulation, the tube put up, they can start testing with different types of marbles. 
So I'm just going to let this go through the chute and it just takes off. So you can see that it's built up a lot of kinetic energy and that motion just shoots it off. So we can start to add other elements to our roller coaster because we know that energy has built up so much. So I'm going to try putting this tubing here, the PVC, and then the coupling right here because I want to see if I can get it to go in that other direction. And so it takes that turn. So it can be really fun using the different elements, the cardboard tubes, the PVC. You can use, like I said, the chairs and see if you can actually make it jump. You have it, the kids can try holding up this and see if they can make it have a turn. So there's so many different things that they can do with this marble roller coaster. A really fun part of this program is to have the students try to make a loop in their foam roller coaster. This is, you can talk about the centripetal force of how an object when it turns is actually being pulled by gravity to the center of that loop. So here, use the Velcro to be able to make it easier to attach and keep that loop in place. So let's see if this works. And again, they're going to have to try this over and over. And there it went. <laughs>